but one of them one however I took uh, a distinction to look at um, the International Consortium of Combat Uh, my name is Yamkama James. I'm the programs manager of Great Virunga Transboundary Collaboration. We've been talking about the cost of wildlife crime and we want to state categorically that this cost has not been computed because wildlife crime is not richly recognized. But we can make estimates about what it is to bring the whole world and all those people that are concerned to their attention. In Uganda, the most well-organized group of tourism is Gorilla Tourism. We all know that for a Gorilla Tourism to be viable, it should have at minimum six members. And out of these six members, if it goes below six members, then it's not viable. But if uh, wildlife crime would, for example, attack that group in the way of taking one of the young ones, either the pet, or through poaching or through snares, and the group becomes unviable, what would be the losses? The losses are enormous. Because for each group of gorillas, it is visited by eight people every day. Each person pays uh, 500 dollars for watching the gorillas for one hour and we know from records that at least out of 365 days each group can be visited for 292 days when this is computed eight all point there we are either directly involved in 